Rolling. Uh, yeah, Mr. Lumide Ido. Um, I notice you've been in the area of sustainable development, environmental climatic issues since 2013. Now we're in 2015, and today, being an historical daily in Nigeria, there's a change of leadership. What do you think, what would you say have happened in the area in focus, climatic change issues in Nigeria? How has it been? In the last okay, uh, thank you very much. Basically, I can say what has happened from then up to today has not really been so much. It's not something that Nigeria should call for. But I just hope that uh, the present government and the present regime that is coming up we actually not only talking about it, but implementing the strategy and taking it forward from there. We're talking about the Sustainable Development Goals. Do you think this can be achieved? Uh, definitely, it can be achieved if we put all our hearts together, if we put ourselves in, in the way that if every parastata that's linked to those each end Sustainable Development Goals come together and focus on their own strength, definitely we can get to where SDG is going to. Yeah, there's something I've noticed in Nigeria, but because I'm a journalist, take me as a layman, I don't know these things. If you look at our garbage, you know, in the 70s, there used to be those palm trees and all that, which I, I, with my little understanding, I felt they were kind of barriers to flooding. And if you look at Nigeria in recent years, there used to be this over flooding of the river banks into homes. Um, it, from an expert's, expert's point of view, would you educate me on the importance of the trees if they were still there and the, the consequences now that they've been removed? Okay, so basically when you look at, um, one, one thing I, I will talk about is just the understanding of what people think and the tree is going to do for them and how it's going to protect them. And that is why I always mention to people that if you don't have the right information, you'll be you definitely miss everything. And another thing again, when you talk about um, the bad picture and stuff, you know, there is a lot of back and front issues with the government and the owners of the community, wow. and which has been a very big problem, okay. which if they don't tackle that one, definitely nobody will see the prosperity, uh, prospect in what climate change is all about. all about and concerning. So I think we need to tackle one issue after the other. By the time the government look into those community. There's some responsibility that's supposed to give to them and there's some responsibility from the communities to the government. So if those things can work um, hand in hand, definitely they will meet uh, the strategy they want to implement in those barbage. Okay, thank you. Mr. Lumde, you are an advocate for climate change. Uh, I want to know what approach your organization, I'm sure you have an organization, what approach are you using to tackle the issue of climate change? So basically it's education. So if you understand the word climate change, you will definitely know that, yes, these are the things I need to do in my own immediate environment. So climate change is a very big word, but we streamline it to environmental issues around the world. So what we do basically is to bring people together to give them understanding of what climate change is all about and also build a database of resource and um, information so that people can also go online, read about it, and. Basically, another thing we always do is to make sure that, you know, it's not everybody that go on the internet to read, it's not everybody that have access to information on the internet. So what we do is to streamline those information into different languages, whereby people can be able to read and understand. And one of those things we have, we've done is with the Makoko and um, Sagbukoji, mm -hmm. the one after yeah, this, yes. So those are the things that we've been doing to make sure that people really understand the effect and the impact of climate change. Okay. You said... Thank you. 